This is our second video on a vector application, and it tells us an airplane. So if you didn't understand all of this, go watch video one. Um, it tells us an airplane flies due east, which of course would be something like this, and then the wind is blowing it south at 40 miles per hour. So then we're going to find what the plane's resultant is right here. So basically the, fl the plane is flying 290, and then this is 40, and it's resultant velocity and direction. This one is nice and easy and, and um, it's a right triangle. So life is grand. So the short way to do this problem is to just use Pythagorean theorem and to use inverse tangent with those values. Um, because this resultant has an x coordinate of, um, of 290 and a y of negative 40. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I take the square root of 290 squared plus 40 squared, well, that's great. Okay, I mean, this is lovely, but it doesn't tell us anything in terms of what the plane is doing. So the resultant here is, or it's, it's um, velocity. The velocity is approximately 292.746. Um, what do we have here? Miles per hour. And then we can do inverse tangent of, okay, it's um, opposite over adjacent, 40 over 290. And in this case, okay, so I get that, the, that where our direction, I found that this angle is 7.5. 853. Um, and if I label it correctly, then I'm fine. So in this case, they're talking about things going north and south and east and west. Okay, they're east and south. So what I would say is that it's um, 7.853 degrees, and this went south of east. Okay, and if we leave it like that, we have described exactly what's going on. You could tell me that this is a negative um, because they don't say that it's aerial navigation. You're fine to think of it on the unit circle, and then this would be a negative 7.853, or you could subtract that from 360. Um, typically, I would say answer in the way that they ask the problem. Um, had this been a little trickier, had it not been due east or due south, um, actually, uh, this is due east, this is due west. Um, let me let me okay. Let me finish my thought. Then what we can do is we can say that it's um, that the the flight of the airplane, so like vector f, is two ninety cosine, and this on the unit circle is zero, and then two ninety sine of zero. Well, you know sine of zero is zero, so this whole thing goes this whole thing right here goes to zero. Cosine of zero is one, so this vector here is just is two ninety comma zero. Um, and that's the flight. And then the wind vector, this would be 40 cosine, well, what is this doing? This is going 270 degrees. I guess I should put degree symbols. And then 40 sine of 270. Oh, okay, sorry. Ran out of space. Um, so on that one, cosine of cosine of 270 is zero. Sine is negative 1, so this becomes the vector 0, negative 40. Okay, and so then we're back to doing what we had done before. We've got this lovely triangle. We've labeled these things. Um, the negative is going to give you a negative direction right here, which we already said was fine. Um, so if the, if the angles are different, then this is the process that you want. When it's nice and exactly due east and due south and all that kind of stuff, then, then life is a little bit easier. Um, if it's not... Try this, clean it up, and get your different values. Okay, um, let's do let's do the next one really fast. I think it's pretty straightforward. Given two forces at 37 degrees, oh, okay, at 37 degrees above due west. So due west is this way. So 37 degrees above that is going something here. So this is 37 degrees, and then 82 degrees north. Excuse me. 82 newtons at 29 degrees above due east. Okay, so this angle right here is 29 degrees. And so this has a magnitude of 53. This has a magnitude of 82. Maybe it's definitely not drawn to scale. But we want to see what the resultant is. Now, we can use law of sine, law of cosine on this, but I wouldn't advise it. Um, so this one, this is a 29 degree angle. So this first one... Um, 
Well, we'll call this vector A. We'll call this vector B. Do they have names? No? Okay. So um, vector A would be equal to 82 cosine 29 and then 82 sine of 29. Vector B, you have a few options, but what you notice here is that it's, it's cosine value, it's y value, I lied, it's sine value is negative. I said that, I'm sorry, sorry. It's x value is negative, so the cosine part would be negative. It's sine, it's y value is positive. So I can use this angle 37 as long as I make it a negative 53 cosine. So one option, One option is this. I'm sorry I, I butchered that as I said it, and I'm not going to edit it because I have too much to do. Um, so you can do this because the sine of, of 37 and the sine of this angle right here, it's that, that height, would be the same no matter which quadrant you're in. Um, I, th I wouldn't recommend this because if you forget to put the negative or you're not sure, you put the negative in the wrong spot, you're not okay. So what I would do is think, okay, from here to here, what is that? Well, 180 minus 37 is 143. So I would I would prefer Okay, these things end up being the same because of how sine and cosine work on the unit circle and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I would do this so that you don't have to think through where does a negative go? Does that make sense? So now we're going to go back and do what we did in video 1. And I have that um, a plus B would be equal to 82 cosine 29 plus 53 cosine of 143. And then the, the Y value is 82 sine of 29. I think these problems are not necessarily hard. They're just a lot of details. And it's easy to kind of get lost in the, in the, they're tedious more than they are challenging. I hope you agree with that. Um, Okay, so now I'm going to store this. I'm going to plug these values in. Store that as A. I need the same thing, but now with, with sine. And I'm going to store that one as B. And what I would do if I were you is I would always do the same thing. So get in the habit your x value you store as A, your y value you store as B, life is grand. Um, okay, so then there are those values, and so to find the direction and magnitude, the direction, I take the square root of those things squared. If I'm going too fast, go back and watch the first video. So it's 77.444 newtons at, and then we're going to do inverse tangent of the, the y value over the x value, so that b over a. And that would be, that would be, it's, it's 67.697 degrees, and that's going to be north of east. Because we are in quadrant one, and, that, and that's kind of what we're looking at. Okay, follow, come back for video three, because there's still a couple more problems.